take Claudio's van to follow on his some 1999 leads. Um, I feel like Claudio does seem like he would have a van, and I hope there's anime girls on the side. Yeah, I mean, he does have a job. Well, yeah, but something about vans. There's like a certain type of like... Oh, oh, it's oh right that, here. That's like a Jeep, dude. That's not a fucking van. Yeah, that's not a van. Right? I, also, I don't know. I just wasn't expecting him to be right here either. What defines a van? Have we even asked him yet? No. Remember, we're supposed to schmooze him first. We're supposed to, like, be friends with him. Yeah. Because apparently we're such an asshole that we have to be friends with people so we can use them for things. But, like, how do... I'm just, I, I was I was just walking ahead, like, I'm gonna, how am I going to figure out how to find Claudio and his van? Do I have to go all the way back to the town he works in? Because he was really far away, and I don't necessarily remember which town it was anymore. This is some fucking narrow just, parking like, spots, He's just right dude. here with his van. With his anime girl shirt, and his zip-off short pants. Uh, I just, I, I found uh, some very cool, flashy cargo pants online, and I bought them, so when they come <laughs> in, I'll show them to you. But they have, like, fucking graffiti all over them and a bunch of pockets and zippers everywhere and I'm so zippers down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the new Claudio. Damn. With my anime shirt and my cargo pants. He's gotta get that shirt. Exactly. Dude, and I'm telling you, best. it looks like Madoka Magica. I'm gonna buy it. I'll, I'll do it. You can be Michael for Halloween. I'll be Claudio. <laughs> I, you know, just enjoy my day off. Hey, you wanna waste your day off by helping me with awesome something? Center burgers in the area. This is a pretty nice town, man. Yeah, Frankton's all right. Days off at the record store must be great. I never worked retail, but I imagine it blows. It does Have fucking blow. Worked? Uh, according to your mother, no. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't really work at the record store. What? You just hang out there? I own it. Did oh, you know? oh, fuck, Claudio. What a badass. <laughs> you own it? What? You know, Claudio might be the best character. He might be game. growing in my eyes. He has the the super attractive anime shirt, and that Jeep's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, although the gas mileage is probably terrible. <laughs> and he super owns a record store. Anime shirt. <laughs> yeah, dude, approach me with that anime shirt. <laughs> yeah, I own all the record stops. Oh. I opened the first one when I was 19, about nine years ago. Hey, Claudio, He's how you doing? How He's you so doing, much Claudio? Older than everybody. He's your friend that has stuff too figured out, and you don't want to. And you like, he doesn't. He doesn't do anything wrong, but you don't want to be around him because he reminds you that you're not doing things. <laughs> Honestly, the fact that he's 28 stresses me out because I'm 27, so I'm a little bit upset about yeah. this. Claudio, I don't know. We can't be friends. <laughs> My grandfather passed away and left me a bit of money. I put the money down, got a business loan, and the rest is. Uh, it makes me feel a little bit better, but not yeah, really. Yeah, at least he's lost people. <laughs> <laughs> at least it was a trade. <laughs> at least there was trauma. <laughs> Every time you buy a record, I see some profits. Pretty sweet deal, if I do say so myself. Yeah, I know what a store is, Claudio. I had no idea. No wonder you have such a tubular ride, man. Tubular, wow. No one said that in 99, right? See, I only think of tubular. Not, not even in California, which this isn't. Because in Super Mario World, there is a level called tubular. It's like a secret it's level. Like tubular madness. Or and something. it's fucking really difficult, and I hate it so much that I associate <laughs> it with that word. And it's all tubes, and there's no floor, and you just have to hop tube to tube. Oh, and yeah, then the, the football guys will throw footballs at you while you're jumping yeah. tube to tube, and it's really fucking difficult. I, I keep forgetting to put, that's one of the things I keep forgetting to put on the list. <laughs> Living the dream, Alex. Living the dream. If you make me play that on camera, I might have a meltdown. So I don't know. What? <laughs> that level's like the worst one for oh, me. Oh, that me that level specifically. Yeah, the tube. It's called tubular. Because you were saying that you used to beat it like on the drive to Disneyland, right? Like, yeah, you just, you I can beat the. Burn through that game. Yeah, I can beat the base game. Tubular, I might. I might just be like, if I only if I hate Was myself. Was tubular madness from Star Road? Um, if you, once you beat Star Road, there's like another set of levels. It's like the super secret levels. You have to beat all the star I think, ones. I think I did everything. You do the star ones, then there's a little thing that appears, I think, in the middle, and it takes you to this other set. And if you finish it, you get a super secret message that says, you are a super player. <laughs> and it's, made, it's made of coins. Um, and But all the levels are named after. There's one called like Gnarly, one called Tubular. They're all slang words. I think I, I think I at least made it to the star. I don't remember if I did what you had to do there because I think you had to do sneaky stuff with like Yoshi. Yeah, you, you had to do all the secrets with all the Yoshis. I can't remember if I did it or not. Hmm. Yep. So Reminiscing. Up, what are you up to today? It's all in videos. Well, mm -hmm. I wanted to ask you if you drive when we go to look for the android. Rory put up a post on Anna's in 1999 about it, and apparently sightings have been flooding in. Once we get a credible hit, you down to go? Yeah, sure. Sounds good. That was smart of Rory. Have you seen him around? No. I wonder if we went back home yesterday. No idea. 
Make sure you let me know when you're ready to go. That was easy. We didn't have to like fake being friends with him at all. Yeah. <laughs> he is also already sold on this whole adventure. Yeah. I would be too if there was randomly an album cover with me on it. I'd be like, I have, I have so many questions. I don't know any of you people. <laughs> How did this happen? I would be upset if I was like on an album cover with someone like Alex because then I'd be like bonded with him in some way I don't understand and I'd, that means I'd have to endure him for longer than I wanted to. I kind of like the idea of different character configurations uh, cropping up as a result of these like road trips and whatnot. Oh yeah, that is kind of a nice like... Just, but only if they cap actually fulfill the promise of having them talk to each other and having like that, that grouping pay off and not just be a fighting thing. Just let me know when you're ready to look for the fan. I feel like there are a lot of games that do that in like a really satisfying way, and for some reason I, I can't. I let them know I'm ready? I can't think of it right now, but like you create a party and they interact with each other uniquely depending on who you pick to go with you. Was that, was that a? What do I do? Did this? What was that last bit of dialogue? Did they say that I have to go find Rory? Yeah. Oh, I wish the dialogue would. I wish the hint system would be accurate. Is that what it said? I can't talk to him again. He doesn't point out. He, usually you want the NPC to like repeat. There's their one repeat, sentence they repeat, repeat is, the, is mentioning like your goal. Like yeah, the one important sentence. He just says, let me know when you want to go. I'm like, how? <laughs> you gotta go find uh, Mello. Uh, He's probably hiding from you because you tried to kiss him that last time. <laughs> it was only a kiss. It was only, only a kiss. A kiss. <laughs> and now I'm falling asleep. And she's just taking a... Drag. She's taking Call, calling, a cab. Calling a She's cab. calling a cab. Having a smoke <laughs> and taking a drag. Dude, I, I just can't look. It's killing, killing me. me. Taking control. control. I have a message apparently. It's like a big floating thing. I remember being a like an edgy little preteen and riding my razor scooter around in the backyard with my Walkman, <laughs> listening to that song and being all angsty about it. So I was, it made me angry. <laughs> That song, <laughs> and so just like a little me on my razor scooter, like pedaling really hard in the backyard. What an angst song. <laughs> hey, Alex, I've narrowed p to possible van sightings down to the following locations: the reservoir, the bowling alley, the gas station of Route 91, the mall, the Wind Town. This is too many places. <laughs> the Wind Town Water Tower, University of Easton, and your mom. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Rory burned us. Yeah, that list was not concise. No. Rory, get better. I need, I need a better list. basically listed every place that we can access. I guess we'll read a couple things while we're here. One day, we'll we'll have them all. And in the darkness, behind them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like how there's like, question mark and check mark, like, unread, red. But then there's like... All the ones on top are new now, right? No, are no. Are they new? Maybe they have new replies? Well, those are all... Mystical Ultimate LP Legend. Um... Uh... Guys, do we, we, have, we, have read, we haven't read this, yeah? No, I don't think so. <laughs> Who's Reaction Nod? Is Reaction Nod Rory? No. Is Reaction Nod... Uh... Well, because we have... Audio? Claudio isn't on this fucking... Reaction? I thought Claudio's, Claudio's too cool for this, right? I thought Claudio said he was on Onitsum. Oh. That's, how we, that's when we met him. Oh, yeah, whatever. I just was giving I think old guys credit. are on Onitsum and, uh, and other girls <laughs> are, because it's no girls allowed. Ew. She's not cool enough to have an Onitsum account. Uh, was real dialogue. I'm too cool to have an Onitsum account. Fuck you. Um, I don't know who Reaction they said, they, is. They said, have you tried the record store? And I'm like, of course I have shithead. I'm like, it is Claudio. I'm like, no, he's looking for a record. That's not a clue. And also, I don't <laughs> think Claudio would be an asshole like that. Yeah, that too. That'd be disappointing. Guys, desperately trying to track down Mystica Ultimate LP Legend by Vela Wild. I can't explain it right now, but I promise it has something to do with the star creatures and elevator crow. If we find this, we can find EG and finally get to the bottom of this. Have you tried the record store? Of course I have, shithead. I've got the record. It blows. Don't even waste your time. Girl can't sing. Literally sounds like a dying cat. I thought it was a guy's voice. Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck is all this back and I don't understand. I run a record store and I'll be on the lookout for it. I might know a collector who has it. I'll see him this weekend. That's sure Claudio. 
That's got to be Claudio. It could be Paper Shivers. Because cause he runs a record store and he he knows the guy. Yeah, and he's on Honest Some. How many record store owners are on Honest Some? Can you hand me the journal? It's going in the dream diary. I'm usually sitting in range of it, but not in this configuration. I'm going to add, I'm going to write Paper Shivers question mark. <laughs> Cloudy wasn't even written down yet. So you have Claudio, well, perhaps uh, Michael. We know Alex's because it's it's something dorky. What is it's it again? SNES man. SNES man. Which itself is confusing because like, why was it ninety nine? That's this year. Hasn't uh, had the accounts since before this year. Yeah, we don't know Rory's yet. So. Although Honest Sims also nineteen ninety nine, which I'm also confused by. Is this a brand new? Maybe it is a brand new website because, like, look how few threads are on it. That is true. <laughs> Granted, it has like twelve users, <laughs> and apparently they're all so close in proximity that some of them now know each other. Asian elevator girl. <clears throat> Dear, oh wait. Superb pudding's a liar. Dear Onism, Sammy Park here. I'm really happy with how hard you've all been searching for me. I want to thank you all for how kind you've been to my family and how tirelessly you've searched. Please stop. Please do not look for me. I'm gone. I've left. I don't want to and cannot be found. Just let me go, okay? What? Well, I guess that settles it then. Rolls eyes. Well, I certainly believe it. Show us a pick and prove it. Frigid milkshakes. I mean, I would hope so. Yeah. <laughs> I also trust my garlic. Why do they all have the same name scheme? What is the, is that a rule on this website? I like garlic. I would trust garlic if garlic was a person. Like SNESman99 is the only, I mean, like two, two like, like adjective noun is like not an unusual uh, username. It's just weird they all have it. Yeah, they should have added some variety. Because Alex is SNESman99, which is like a normal username. Yeah. And there's no other usernames like that. He's the only one that has the normal username. There's no, like, nobody has a number in their name or anything like that. Weird stuff happening around town. A colossal bind. Something really weird is going on lately. Like, shit out of a movie. Last week, I was out on a walk. I came across a cute dog. And I love dogs, so I decided to follow it. Turned out to be owned by opulent owl, who also frequents this forum. They all live next to each other. <laughs> I was surprised to meet another Onosome user in real life, so we started talking, and things were fun. But when I tried to walk back home, I got attacked by birds, a smiling slime, and a rat that looks like it was stolen from Pokemon. The Pokemon exist in this universe. So each day since, I found that there are more hostiles. Like today, I had to fight a little girl holding a brick. She was so aggro. Maybe there is lead in the water. <laughs> well, maybe maybe, lead in the maybe the slime is like those enemies that are just the black blobs it, that come up in it. Like, is this our first acknowledgement of the idea that other it's people, unusual stuff is just attacking us when we walk around? Yeah, because I like how in other games, like no one talks about how they can't like walk town to town without yeah. being attacked by a bunch of weird monsters. They're no, just like all living their lives like normally, like yeah. in Earthbound. Like no one talks about like how when you're walking from point A to point B, like fucking all these like weird fucking and, monsters. And show aside up. from like the Starmen and things, our characters have never acknowledged that the fights exist. That is true. So this is like breaking the rule of continuing to ignore it because now it's suddenly like it is weird, which makes it weird that our characters don't find it weird when everything else they do find weird is weird. But they don't find this to be weird. So we just assumed like there it's like maybe it's a metaphor or some shit. But these people are just like, yeah, I fought a slime. The little girl <laughs> and holding a girl with a brick. <laughs> the little girl holding a brick, I don't know. <laughs> so you felt like a rat attack. Because every now and then you're like, it's a goat man, and other bullshit is happening. Yeah, but like, not a girl holding a brick. I feel like that girl just maybe didn't like him. Yeah. A girl with a brick. Maybe we'll see her later. Maybe. Hey, Colossal Bind. I really enjoyed meeting meeting you last week. I had a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for that help with my roommate. We would have never been able to move his stuff out without your help. Thank God for you. He really was becoming a drain on me. Sorry things have been so weird for you. I haven't noticed any hostiles lately, but I also rarely leave my home. I spend way too much time playing with my dog. He replied, so we know that Opulent Owl is not any of the characters we know because they have a dog. And nobody has a dog. That is... You know, we're gonna we're gonna solve this logic puzzle. Just write down the full list of every single username <laughs> and rule them all out one by one. Maybe I'm opulent owl. I spend too much time playing <laughs> with my dog. Oh no, Colossal Bind replied to himself. <laughs> no problem, Colossal Bind. <laughs> uh -huh. Anytime. 
Uh, thankfully, Mom let me borrow her car. <laughs> Your roommate sure was scary, though, don't you think? We were just talking about bad roommates. Um, I... <clears throat> A bad roommate. Bad. Uh, oh, uh, uh. oh, oh, you're doing Lady Gaga. <laughs> I the whole that's the whole post, okay. I, <laughs> I wish I could meet some autism users IRL. Enough PP though. What? What does that mean? I've been thinking about what Colossal Bind wrote. I can relate a bit, I think. Personal problems. Oh, got it. I got it. I figured it out. PowerPoints. No. <laughs> so my friend and I were out photographing a trailer park near our house, and people there were scary as fuck. Like, just creepy Walmart people without the low, low prices. I don't know if it was just because we were outsiders, but they had no issue attacking us. So I've been carrying around my, bas my baseball bat with me to keep myself safe ever since. It's okay because I just wear a baseball cap and everyone thinks I'm just off to play a game. Little do they know I'm deadly. That's scary. A little slugger. Yeah. Uh, yep. I've noticed this. Strangely enough, I thought it was just part of growing up, <laughs> having to protect yourself from hostiles. Last week, we had to beat up this alpaca and some samurai turtles. It's a great workout, though. I don't want to get chubby like like Alex before I go away to school. Damn, he's talking shade Michael's behind our talking back. talking mad shit. That's like more dialogue than he gets in the game. If you do at somebody, do they see it? Uh, like he put at Sinest Man. Does that mean that Alex will get a notification that he was being talked uh, about? I used to be on a few forums... When I was when I was like around that time, and I don't remember there being a notification tagging system. I feel like they're just using modern Twitter there, without it necessarily making sense. But I'm not sure. So he addressed the he addressed the sheep guy, like called him an alpaca incorrectly, and then also the turtles that we, the ninja no, turtle knockoffs. No, knock the golden offs. alpaca. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. I was thinking about the sheep guys we see every yeah, like five seconds. They made a really big deal about the golden alpaca. Like it was when we were just accepting that Vela just knows things we don't know. And then we like never saw one again. Yeah, and it never came up again and we never knew why it was a big deal. Oh my god, if things go on like this, there'll be a golden alpaca. And then there was, and then... No one ever discussed yeah, it. Yeah, and she never explained what the deal was, and there wasn't like more of golden alpacas. But she seemed weirdly aware of that. I think just receiving that message was what I needed to do. Okay, game. Now we need to go find Mello. I have to go get Mello? I think so. Did I just get a message from Rory? He was the one that was talking, that I got the message from online. Uh, but I thought you had to go f talk to him. God I don't know, I kind of zoned out during the dialogue too, because I was thinking God damn it. about anime shirts. <laughs> the hint as, as I do. <laughs> the hint system was so reliable for so long, and now it's just not. They fell flat. That, that, that's uh, they wanted to trick you or they wanted to punish you for relying on something in this game of all places The camera is just very Very active just going <laughs> on adventures everywhere. It's very it, it's expressing itself Like I know we spaced and that's our fault, but I'm also like you're supposed to have the NPCs repeat Like what's up if you talk to them again? <laughs> It's not Southtown, right? He lives somewhere else. Rory? Uh, he lives in Windtown? Yeah. The sad town? Was that a walkable, or did I have to fly there? Fly? I uh, mean, take a, b a bus there? No, you were, you were able to walk there. I can't remember where anything is in this map. Um, There's like nothing in Southtown. Yeah, I think I have to go to the other side. I think I have to, I think I have to go to the bus stop. I didn't feel like you took a bus last time. I'm sure you can. Cause I think the bus was afterwards when we we're all going on our group trip and talking about our fears. Cause that's just what friends do, I guess. <laughs> Keith's so what, afraid of so the what's ocean. What's your greatest fears? Um, what is my greatest fear? Where's the bus stop? I thought it was somewhere around here. <laughs> God, I can't find anything in this game. It's so spread out. Do you have the skate? Oh. oh. Wait, I just spotted someone. You spotted someone? Yeah. What? <laughs> the fuck? Fuck you. Michael. It's right there. 
Oh, he blends in. Of course <laughs> he's next to the camera shop. Hey man, what's up? So, we're taking Rory pictures put of up a thread on Onism 1999 looking for the van that has the android. You down to go look for it once we get a credible hit? Yeah, just let me know when. Okay, I'm gonna go check out the post again. In about an hour and a half, let's meet up at Burger Joint. Claudio has this van there and he's ready to go once we pick a place to hit up. Okay, sounds good. I'll let the others know. Oh, do you have Rory's number? I tried messaging him on Onism, but haven't gotten a hit yet. Nah, never bothered to get it. <laughs> swing by and pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> You also, you also never bothered to get his fucking username, you self-conceited piece of- That's a good of... idea. He was pretty bummed yesterday when I last saw him. Because you tried to kiss him, that's why. Learn his username, you tried Jesus to, Christ. You tried to kiss him and you didn't even have his phone number yet? Why don't, that's you, guys, fucking why don't rude. you guys know his username or phone number? And like, I like how he had the pose where he's adjusting his glasses when he said that. Like, I didn't even bother trying to get his number. I'm like, dude. They look like they're gonna fight people. They look like, uh... Can you hear my thoughts? Are you high? Oh god, I hope she doesn't know. About what? Oh, there's a Chandra. Oh yeah. What a weird statue to have. What you up to? Well, I, th I think it's just characters of their, from their previous game. I know, but in, yeah. in context, it's just weird. Yeah. Uh, I've just been hanging out, thinking about the android. So that's your thing, right? You wander around all pensively, thinking about unobtainable women? Unobtainable robot women. <laughs> wow, I never thought of it that way. Holy cow. Easy there, I was only kidding. No, she's got, not. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, she's got a read on you, buddy. I was thinking we should all get together and talk through what we know so far. Vela pointed out that I don't know you and your brother so well, so I thought I'd change that. That's not something you say out loud. You... I'll let you ask two questions. <laughs> Only a, two. It's a special test. Yeah, so our objective is just not helpful. It just it, it doesn't tell you actually what it wants you to do next in this situation. Well, I mean, I think we have to, think we have to go back onto that's the web post. One. Ask your better overall. Hey, don't ask her. That's the most vapid thing. Hula hooping's more, at least that's like her, yeah. her interest. Have you ever heard of Syndrome de Paris or Paris Shokugan? It's no. a psychological disorder affecting Japanese people who vacation in I Paris. I have heard of this. Really? Yeah. See, in in, uh, in Japanese culture, uh, th there's just an overemphasis on hyping up Paris constantly. Like, it's, it's this big, mythical, incredible, perfect, amazing, super place. Don't we do that here too? And then they go there and they're so deeply disappointed that they can be depressed, they can end up depressed about it. Wow. And so there's literally a word for it specifically. It was like what happens when people actually visit Paris after it being like so specifically hyped up in Japan. I feel that way about Disneyland. Disneyland makes me really depressed. And I've been there like a million times, but I, that, that's how <laughs> I would feel about Disneyland is like if, if, if I was a person who had never been there and I spent years thinking about it, and I went there, and it was just full of like all these asshole tourists and like <laughs> it's just eight, eight dollar churros and lines that are two hours long. I would like probably cry to myself. Yeah, this would be the happiest place on earth. What is this? But it's just the reality. Like if you actually go to Paris, it's like it's it's just a town. I've been to Paris. <laughs> like it's just it's just another city. I feel like America has like some neat sights, but it's just another city. America has this weird fascination with Paris too. A lot of places do, and I don't know like. I went to other places in France that were much more interesting and beautiful than Paris. And Paris is not the place that, if I had to go back, I would not pick Paris to go to. Mm. Uh, the only thing, I'd, I'd want to go to see the Louvre again, not, so I would go for that. It's but, not really on my list to begin with. Um, no, there are like other places that are much more interesting. Like Florence was really cool. No, that's, wait, fuck, I went to Italy and France, so I forget which ones are in which countries, oh, that's no. really terrible. <laughs> oh no. Nice was cool. It's Florence, Italy, yeah. Yeah, Florence, Italy. Fuck. Sorry, everyone. That's that's yeah. bad. I haven't been to Europe. Um. But. I've only been. I've only the only country I've ever been to was Mexico. Uh, I've been to Canada, Mexico, Jamaica, Spain, Italy, uh, France. Um. Been to Alaska, it's just not a different country, but you know. And mm -hmm. I've been to Hawaii. Just feels like it. I've driven across uh, the U.S. a little bit. Um, yeah, I've never been east of Texas. 
Mm. I've also never been to most of the country between here and Texas. I've just flown to Texas twice. I liked Arizona. I saw why. Uh, I've been to some Arizona, some Colorado, and a lot of Nevada. I know why, like, Sean Bunnett is so fond of living in Arizona, because it was really pretty, and I liked it a lot. So, the Grand Canyon, and, uh, I went to Utah, and, sorry, Utah, Utah sucks. I hate Utah so much. They didn't like me. <laughs> Shots fired to Utah. Sorry, Utah. You know the one. I had a bad you, time there. You're the one. How dare you live in Utah? They were, they were not nice to me. <laughs> and then, um, uh, Montana was awesome. Shout out to Montana. That place is cool. <laughs> But anyways, Oregon's nice. Yeah, I went to Virginia and Pennsylvania too. And Washington DC, and they're okay. You made it all the way to the coast. Yep, I'm pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> People who have this hallucinate, get delusional, feel persecuted. It's like extreme culture shock. That's what I felt. Except I wasn't Japanese and I wasn't in Paris. I was an American in a tiny Japanese town. It took me a while to get over my you? fears. But when I did, I made a great friend in a girl named Bera. Bera taught me how to hula hoop. And for three weeks straight, we bonded over it. Sometimes all it takes is one cool person to pull you out of your shell, you know? I've never heard of that before. That's crazy. Oh, didn't I tell you I'm doing my master's in psychology? I want to work with kids, mainly foreign kids, and help them adjust. That's why I'm doing my thesis on. That's pretty cool. She's a better psychology student than you are. Yeah. Oh, he's a philosophy student. No, no, he said he said he did psychology and philosophy, and oh. I was I remember I was like, are you talking? She's already doing her master's. Yeah, get good, Alex. But should what the fuck am I saying? Ask about the brother or the overalls. Um, ask about the. Don't ask about the. Ask about the brother. I feel like asking about the overalls is kind of insulting. Like, why are you wearing overalls? Ew. <laughs> but the brother is also like, it could be like dangerous territory. Chandra yeah. has left the party. Really, Alex? I let you ask me any two questions. Oh, damn it. I thought that was more meaningful. More meaningful. Like, hey, like, I just. <laughs> I want to know you and the things that are. Been, like the, that's important. I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to search for a deep connection it's here. It's cool. We're just in character as Alex. Yeah, that is. Yeah. I'm more than that terrible thing that happened to my family. I really am. I don't want to sound rude, but I don't understand what you expect from me. Am I supposed to continuously tell you how horribly upset I am over the whole thing? I am. It ruined my life for a long time. But you don't have to get so mad, Chandra. I was a kid when just I saying. Seriously, man, no one to hold your tongue. Like, I don't mean to, like, I don't know. I would, I don't know. You're right. Uh, I'm sorry. You know, I have a sister. I don't think about her nearly enough. And I swear, half the time I forget I have one. But she's a lot like you. This is a good example of when to hold your tongue, I think, potentially. Oh, yeah, your brother is dead? I guess I have a sister. I usually, I usually forget she exists. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Easy to talk to. Funny, a bit mean. She's smart like you too. Very philosophical. Where is she? She calmed down fast. Well, I think she just changed the subject. You know. Yeah. I can't remember. I think sometimes it's like so. Okay, so like I think avoiding a topic sometimes can be so like blatant. Like it's funny. I don't know. It, it's like it's like a like. I don't know. It's, it's like it's like people don't want. I don't know. I don't know. I I think it's nice to attempt sometimes. Like, hey, so whatever happened with that? Like, let's talk about it sometime. Maybe not like blatantly. When you, I I say you can ask two questions and you ask it right then. Maybe it's like in the mm -hmm. future, or like you know, whatever. But like, there are certain things like in my life that I know, like people specifically is. don't talk about. And sometimes I'll like mention it to see if anyone grabs the bait, just because like I don't care. Like I'll like we can talk about it, but like no one wants to talk about it. So it's like, it ends up being more awkward that people actively avoid it. Save me, VHS bus. <laughs> it's like, um, so in like Fight Club, the Chuck, Chuck Palahuniuk, the guy whose name I can never fucking say, uh, he said he was inspired to write Fight Club because one day he, I want to say he got like punched in the face or something, like something, he got, he got his face fucked up and he went to work and he noticed that everyone actively avoided mentioning it even though it was really blatant 
and he thought about what that meant about like our uh like our, our society don't acknowledge things yeah yeah and that's how i feel about like not i don't know chandra it's okay i'm sorry i'm sorry but he just noticed that people specifically wouldn't look him in the eyes because he had like black eyes or something and they wouldn't ask him what happened to him and they just talked about normal things like the weather and everything and he just would have thought that was really bizarre and that was a part of what why he thought about writing fight club in the first place just nobody acknowledges what's going on because they don't want that. That's too much of a connection. They're like scared of that. They're like, I don't want to get involved with it, it, with you on that level. So I'm just going to avoid it. Mog liberation. Isn't that just Final Fantasy? Like the Moogles? Moogles? The Moogles? I hate them. <laughs> those are those little... Um, the like, creepy... Th oh. They have, like a little round nose and I guess I didn't need to buy a new skill because uh, I can just equip mystical ultimate oh the uh, I guess you it makes sense you could equip that because you are it's carrying an, it it's an album I've got a new album and I got a new guitar strength one is one keytars are cool man but I want strength I'll use the battle axe <laughs> the battle axe keytar excuse me keytars are cool but but you get so many more options playing Vulcan. an actual keyboard. How do, I, how do I buy a new hula hoop, hoop and a new hacky sack? <laughs> like, where would I get those? <laughs> that is a good question. Because I need them. You? <laughs> well, I, perhaps. I mean, I feel like a 7-Eleven might sell a hacky sack. I don't know who would sell a hula hoop. The, oh, the sports store. There's sports stores, remember? Sports! They probably have hacky sacks and hula hoops. Oh, uh, yeah. I'll have to check that next time I when I get back to uh, Claudio. Claudio! Rory. Alright, we, we don't use this door for some reason, even though it's clearly the easiest door. I knock, but no one answers. Perhaps I should try the side door? It's because uh, Rory's now mom... Now I am doing the side... Fuck you. <laughs> it's because Rory's mom doesn't have hands. She can't answer the, the side door. door. Is there another side door? Oh no. I can't click on it. What the fuck? Rory, where are you? I just want to continue the story. I don't like this fucking figure out where to go, wander around places mode thing. What if he was also- Whoa! Look at the graves! What? It's like a ghastly. Oh! The fuck? I'm so sad. I'm so sad. So very, very sad. So sad! Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a race, guys. It's not a race, guys. <laughs> this, song's for the, this next song's for the guy that just keeps yelling from the audience. It's called We Hate You, you Please, Please die. die. Sweet, I love this one. That actually is a very good song. <laughs> that song's so good. It's, it's like 40 seconds long, but it's so good. Uh, I want it to be longer or more of them. <laughs> Uh, the, that whole fucking soundtrack's good. All the original yeah. music, I, it makes me really sad when I watch them because I wish that band was real. I wish yeah. all those bands were real because I would genuinely listen to them in yeah, my actual life. it's technically performed life. by a real band, but they don't sound like that usually. Yeah, it's composed by Beck. Yeah. Though. He's I like, think, he was I think, in charge and of composing the soundtrack. And I think those parts were usually by, like, the Black Lips. Yeah, it's and fucking... And they're not like that. <laughs> How will it ever cool. go on? What? You. Can. See. Me. Thank the stars, alas, my savior hath come. I need you to get a message to my beloved Beatrice. <laughs> of course her name's Beatrice. Why can't I go myself? Dot dot dot. Why is it that a ghost with no job, taxable dependence, or any worries other than being spooky can't go himself? You're seriously asking this of me? Then I shall tell you. I'm stuck here haunting this graveyard, you see. I couldn't possibly leave my spooky posts. Please, find my beloved and tell her, James has gone to a better place. She'll know what it means. That you're dead. <laughs> well, I, mean, I think she knows. <laughs> the, I mean, there's a gravestone already, so... <laughs> but she's not at the funeral. <laughs> Windtown may be a trailer park, but it's much nicer than where we lived. Yeah. Hmm. Where is Beatrice, you ask? I'm afraid I do not know. Fuck. We're doomed. Likely living a fulfilled life of a traveling vagabond. If you give her this message, I'll give you something in return. Uh... <laughs> Write it down. Yeah. Hold, okay, hold on. I think Beatrice... 
What's his name, James? Yes. Beatrice is the name of... Oh, what was the name of Edgar Allan Poe's girlfriend? It wasn't Beatrice, was it? Beatrice. James is in a better place. I think Beatrice is the name of the girl from Dante's Inferno. Or, or the, oh, the whole, the whole, the whole thing, like he's, that's the love, that's his love. It might be, yeah. Um, and he thinks about her as he's walking through is this, is this, the levels of hell. Was this Rory's sister's grave? So much grave. So much grave. Wait, wasn't this water tower on the list? Yeah, Beatrice is Dante's love. I think this water tower was on the was on the list that we read earlier. Um, what list? Oh, of the possible vans, but we but we can't look for anything until we get our group together. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure what they want from us. So Rory must be somewhere, but he's not in his house. Yeah, Beatrice is Edgar Allan Poe's love too. They will have that's very uh, the name kind of has like a like a an air of like ominous darling, romance now. My beloved Beatrice. Yeah. Not to be confused with Beatrix Kiddo. Haha. Haha. -ha. One of the other best movies ever made. Yeah, that's the name. That's the, that's why my sn my snake's named Beatrix Kiddo. Because <laughs> I thought it'd be funny to name a snake after Uma Thurman's character in Kill Bill, because they're all named after snakes in that <laughs> movie. <laughs> Just name all of your snakes after. Well, that'd be hard. Well, I, I, you have to, I guess you have to know their real names, which I, I think you I, do know all their all their names. Oren right? Ishi. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember Vivica. Vivica Fox is her. Is it the actor or the character? No, that, that's, that's the, the actress. Actor. Or is it Veronica Fox? It's Vivica. No, no, you just gotta, you Fuck, know, you... I fucked it all up. I don't remember. Mm, and you can't even use the scenes that show the names because those are all those are the snake names. Yeah, yeah. You'd have to get the right snakes too. Oh, right, she's probably the only one I'd I'd, I'd use because the other one's Bud. I don't want to name a Bud. Snake. Bud is the is the guy. You don't want a snake named Bud. No, that's kind of cute, I guess, but. <laughs> Yeah, uh, the other lady's name is Copper. She's Copperhead, but I don't remember her character's name. I think the mall was also on the list. Yes, it was. I think like fucking all the places, like almost all the places we we can go to, were on the list. Yeah. Seems feeling kind of aimless lately. Hello, KK. Or maybe that maybe that is why he's dancing the music. You think, yeah, you might be KK Slider. Maybe. <laughs> That's what I named my dog after. Wow, all these, all my names are coming up. Yeah, but not correctly. Not correctly. <laughs> Kiki Slider is what she does when she when she runs on the tile. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, so he did, that. yeah, he did say that. But I don't... Mail? I don't know if it addressed that we had um, done yeah, that know. already. Uh, wait, where? Serious van and all semi park photos. Guys, holy shit! I was spending my usual nine to ten hours of staring at the only photos we have of semi park. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> But I noticed something interesting. Look below. I've highlighted something in the photos. There is a van. The same van. As far as we know. Sammy didn't have a license. Sammy didn't have a license. So I think it's time we ask ourselves if she had a boyfriend. Someone who owned the van and was driving her around. I called the detective in charge of the case and pointed this out to him. But he didn't seem to take me seriously. So let's all be on the lookout for this van. If you see it, knock on the door and get some information. What, what, wait, wait, are we not going to address, like, the, the guy in the robe standing behind the van talking to a child? I didn't even see that at first. The red line distracted. What? Uh, oh, okay. Well, funnily enough, I saw the van earlier in the week. It was at the Northern Frankton Reservoir. No one in it, but it looked abandoned. No fucking kidding, it's in a yeah. lake. I could be completely wrong, but I think I saw it parked at a gas station on 72. I was too scared to approach. As you should be. Keep the fucking image is broken, you Aww. asshole. I saw this, uh, I saw this van in bed with Opie's mom. It was pretty kinky. 
Oh shit, I see this van all the time at the Twin Pines Mall by Easton University. I work at the food court there and I see it in the mornings. Oh, that's a, that's a really good lead because uh, that means that they work there. If yeah. you see it every day. Yeah. That means we can kidnap them. Oh shit. Frigid milkshakes. <laughs> I, go to, <laughs> I go to EU too, near the North Gate. The security van kind of looks like this. I'll stop by tomorrow and check it on the way to, to class to see if I find anything. There's a bowling alley in South Jersey that sometimes has a van like that. But as you know, there's always vans in bowling alleys. <laughs> what? What does that mean? Careful if anyone decides to check it out. Some sketch mofos usually go there. Is the implication that sketchy people who own vans go to bowling alleys? Or is it just like... Your mom goes to bowling alleys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, most... I think everyone's mom should enjoy a bowling alley every once in a while. It's a yeah. fun place to go. Uh, Bear's Necessity is from Windtown? Bear's Necessity... Aren't you from Windtown? Check near the water tower. I think I've seen a van with satellites like that on there. Is Bear's Necessity the OP? Is Bear's Necessity Rory? Let's write it down with a question mark. Now, he doesn't seem like he's obsessed with Sammy, though. Like, in the way that Alex would be. And also, if he's spending 9 to 10 hours, he's not on adventures with us, which is actually where he is. So. Yeah, but also, I don't know. Bear's Necessity... I like in that in that I can just imagine him saying like guys holy shit oh my god I was kissing Alex and <laughs> Alex tried to kiss me what do you guys think <laughs> they have a whole thread on it I don't know what my feelings are I'm really is confused. Alex a cryptid <laughs> how can a person be so unlikable he can't he's the kissy <laughs> boy he's the tulip cryptid a tulip I saw, I never, I saw the uh, Game Rumps play that game. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like, I guess it's like a cult classic. It looks or to me like, um, kind of like uh, Harvest Moon, which is why I was attracted to it. I got a special place in my heart for those stupid ass Harvest gathered. Moon games. Are we good? Oh, awesome. Everyone's here. Everyone. So where to? Not missing a single person. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Now go to the water tower to get Rory. Or is it saying you need, like, you should have Rory when you go there? Because That's... he, li well, he lives there. But yeah. we tried, we tried getting him and we couldn't. Yeah, his mom. I told you, his mom can answer the door because she has no arms. <laughs> he doesn't even got arms. So where to? Does oh, that? So That's just what this whole part is. Does that van have three rows of seating? That is normal, though. Why am I thinking that's weird? It's, it's weird seeing it with, like, a... It's normal for a van. It's weird for a van to be, like, Jeep-like. And have it. Yeah, it looks like a bus now. Like a tram. Going to the Universal back lot. On a special tram ride. Rory. See, now you can go in there. Who is it? It's Alex and the gang. Chandra in the gang. You think you're that important? Chandra, you? you haven't been here that long. Chandra and the gang. <laughs> he just, he like <laughs> submitted. <laughs> leads on that weird van. You want to come with us? Uh, yeah, I'm down. Just let me get dressed. You're dressed already, Rory. Don't lie to me. me. Okay, we've got through the logic gates of the order exactly that they want us to do that sequence, so we can continue. That was irritating. That guy with the erect tie is still there. <laughs> My tie is aroused. How do I stop it? How do I stop it? It's coming for my face. Okay, that's a, that's a creepy way to stand, everybody. Unless it's an album cover. It's very cool too. Now it's an album cover, but now I'm standing here. Facing the other way. <laughs> As the wind rushes by. I don't believe in ghosts, but this place gives me the heebie-jeebies. As it should. This place gives me the creeps. Let's not hang around too long. Do you guys see a van? Do you see a van? You have eyes, van. too. Yo, you wanna hear a screwed up story? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, fuck your topic. I wanna talk, talk a little story now. Uh, yeah, I, what's up? Sure. Is he this Let's Play? 
You see that water tower up there? You no, know, yes, no, that's why we're here. No. About a week after Sammy Pack went missing, people in my town started complaining about the color and taste of the water. The Sammy Park. What? Ooh. My house wasn't affected because we have a well. Wasn't there? Is this a real story too? The, yeah, no, this is the real life th this story is the that, we, one... that this game is based on. Is yeah, that it was, it was another fact of doing that is that the fact that she, uh, her body was found in the water tower at the top of the building. Yeah, or the containment, whatever same thing. Uh, yeah, because this, yeah, is, like, this, yeah, this is like yeah, I remember that. Now. This, this definitely seems to be su uh, suggesting that her body is in the water tower. So the water company opens up the tower and they find the body of a girl. She has no clothes on and she's been in there for days. What's really screwed up is she was locked in there. You can't really lock yourself in a water tower when the water is five feet from the lock, even more so when the lock is on the outside. That's more important, actually. So police came in and they blew in an accident. How? So some girl accidentally climbs on top of a water tower, picks the lock, jumps five feet into the water, then manages to lock herself in from the outside. Yeah. From the outside. Wait, are you serious? How the hell was this not on the news? There's a lot of things that aren't on the news. It might just be made up. <laughs> might be creepypasta. No, it I was. think this one was a real one, right? Small town tear, unclean drinking water. Well, in real life, it was a real one. The one that the yeah. that the game got is under fire for like using as in their story, but. It could be not true in the universe, what he's saying. No, that's true. But, I mean... Although it's, now he's saying it was in the headlines, so Alex is just full of shit. I am occasionally impressed by Why things... Why wasn't this in the news? You don't, you don't read the news. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was in the news. You just didn't fucking see it, you idiot. Um, Somehow these lazy jerks at the news stations managed to turn what was most likely a horrific murder into a gross story that focused more on the quality of drinking water than about an actual person. There is the horror element of everyone thinking they drank corpse water. That is kind of fascinating. How did she get up to the water tower? I don't see a ladder. Ah, that's what I was forgetting. A logical person would deduce that they removed the ladder so it wouldn't happen again. This is where it gets really creepy. There was never any ladder, and you'd need a really big ladder. So some crazy murderer with a big ladder could still be hanging around out here? <laughs> Why is the big yeah, ladder? Probably. I made a post about this on Honism 1999, but we were never able to figure it out. What's even more screwed up is they never identified the body. But okay, Somewhere wait, wait, wait. out there is the evil ladder man. <laughs> okay, two things. One. If you find someone with a big ladder, just be scared of them. They have a big ladder for ominous purposes. <laughs> Secondly, people have to maintain water towers. There has to be, usually they have the ladders yeah, built how the, in. How the fuck do they get up there? They usually have the, the little- They must have like a scissor lift, like a real big one. They, have the, they usually have rungs just like built into the sides and you just climb. Like usually you can just climb a water tower because it has built in steps on it. I don't think it. a scissor lift could be that tall, huh? It had to be like a crane. Well, they also don't want you like actually using a scissor lift because you're not supposed to climb over. The, I don't think you're supposed you know, to. No, it had to, to be one of those like telephone pole like cranes. Yeah, like the bucket. <laughs> the yeah. bucket that lifts the person yeah, the up into the lift. air. I just had a chill come over me. As if something passed through me. Just kidding. Fuck you. <laughs> Chandra and the gang. Chandra keeps shivering. I think she's just trying to mess with me. Maybe or she's, she's just or it's just windy out and she has a lot of expo exposed goose flesh. <laughs> well, that was fun anyway. All right, guys. Uh, 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 They'll don't follow you. <laughs> Like, we're better off without him anyway. There's something funny about him watching him just sprint everywhere. Yeah, he is like a... We will never find Beatrice. Good car good cardio. Who has a scary ladder? A it's fire old man it Jenkins from the ladder shop. <laughs> it was a firefighter. Because <gasps> I think their ladder would go that high. to unmask the star man. It's just some dude. It's the creepy guy from that runs the uh, burger joint. I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for you meddling so kids. Tell. And you're mellow too. <laughs> and you're panda too. Oh no. 
He could be he could be Scooby Doo. Your snarky panda that was snarky and a character until they forgot, <laughs> and then he uh, very blinked early out of on. existence. Well, damn! I'm guessing that van floating out there is supposed to be the one they spotted. That'd be my best guess. It doesn't look like the van, though. So, is it worth swimming out there and checking it out? Go right ahead! Okay, all their faces are so conflicting. They're so conflicting. Everyone's having a completely different reaction. To I don't this. even know which one I think is the most correct. Yeah. Okay, okay. Like Vel and Rory just were like, yeah, right ahead. Like, be half paying attention. But Michael is like... <laughs> Michael's like... Go right ahead. Michael's looking at you very romantically. If you, wa if you want to do it. And like... <laughs> Claudio's just so fucking excited. He needs this to happen. It's the, he's never wanted anything more than to see you make the mistake of going out there. <laughs> he hopes you drown. Chandra's like, mm, go right Chandra ahead. Chandra didn't even hear us. Chandra's like into it, like too much. She's just like, mm-hmm. Oh, he did. What? Oh, hey, you guys suck. They did not indicate they were gonna do it too. Did we throw him? I hope you did. I I didn't have a single laughing face for her. Uh, nothing here except some items. Oh well, it was worth a shot. Beer? Would you like my pond scum beer? I definitely... What? Oh, that was a weird, like, angle. The angle. I definitely think I'd be afraid to approach He's a van. So tall. I would assume I'd find dead bodies in there. I'd be a little yeah. bit worried about it. So where to? The bowling alley. It's gonna be the last one. Probably. Don't you want to explore them all? They're hoping you'll do it in so order. So far, it features a lot of dunking on Alex. And dunking him in water. Or none of them have the ban. So, do we just walk up to it? It's nighttime now. Have we been here before? I don't remember. It looks kind of cool. I guess so. Maybe I'll just knock on the back and ask if there are any androids being held captive. It's yeah, that's a, a great small, idea. It's such a small van. How did it fit that scene in it? They all were somehow so sure that there was a van. Yak is coming. Oh, Y2K is coming. Yeah, yeah we, we did the same Every exact time. thing last time. Whoa. Uh-oh. You can't just open... I mean... Maybe I knocked on it and then it opened. What was his name? Flashy. Ah. His name's Flashy because he ah. flashes you. I mean, honestly, you approached a random van in a bowling bowling alley parking lot. Yeah. What did you think was going to be in there? Don't you know about bowling alleys? <gasps> no one told you about bowling alleys? So, in, in our town, there are two bowling alleys, and one of them is very nice. That's the one that, like... We, you went there with us, Keith. And there's another bowling alley, which is the one I like better, and that's the sketchy one. And it's definitely very sketchy. <laughs> it's open very late. And it has people that look just like this, hanging out there all night. And there's a bar there, and they serve jello shots, and there's always like a bunch of old folks. They're all kind of just creepily hanging around. It's fun though, I like, I like the people that hang out there a lot more. God damn it. I don't know how I keep messing that up. This drummer's going at it. <laughs> oh no, psychological damage. This one's so hard to do. I find it kind of fascinating that people get a kick out of just flashing people. Like, I don't- it's funny to me the, like, interest in non-consensual just showing off of yeah. your flaccid dick. I'm sure it's like a per- Fuck. <laughs> it's so hard to talk. Is it self-deprecating, or is it no, like- No, I think it just comes from the fact that you're you're raised to always, like, be embarrassed and hide it away at all times, so it becomes fo it becomes, like, another thing to be- to be a kink. Fuck, it's going fast. It's impossible. 
I think it just becomes it, it's like how I think like shoe like feet being hidden away creates foot fetishes. That, that's a brain thing. Is it a brain thing? Yeah, I told you. There's like a um there's a theory that is like pretty substantiated where like the part of your brain that maps where your genitals are is very close to where it maps your feet. And so if there's like a <laughs> no if there's a cross wire in your brain, you could be have a foot, foot fetish. That's so odd. Like like if you look at like a I, like there's there's some great like illustrative images of how your brain maps out your your body parts and in what order it like thinks about their placement. It's really interesting. Um, but the feet and the genitals are right next to each other. But I mean, granted, like I said, that that's a theory. I think it's a really good one. Um, but obviously, like things that happen in your life greatly affect things that stick with you and so you could definitely could just have a foot fetish because you interacted with feet in a particular way once but gen generally the people that i know who've had foot fetishes really didn't want to have foot fetishes but they have them anyway and they had no experience with feet that was like that would make them interested in feet for any particular reason oh what damn is this? what kind of nonsense glitch was that it still wasn't enough <laughs> Dude, this guy's powerful. <laughs> His want to flash you is very powerful. He's just perished. He just killed a man. 200 XP. Wow. He gave me two levels. <laughs> Michael. Oh, I did not want to see that. I did not want to see that. What the hell is wrong with people? Maybe it's just shocking people that people get off on. Yeah, maybe. What a strong reaction. You gave him everything he wanted. Yeah, as I say, don't react that way. The beating. It's the 90s. People really are losing all sense of moral fiber. Dude, it's always been the same, Chandra. It doesn't matter what time period it is, man. Like, they all, these people always exist. The 90s. Let's level these bastards up and hopefully it makes them also heal, because ow. Have you ever seen a flasher before? Mm, I've been to beta breakers. Oh, that doesn't count. It's like a hundred that... flashers at once, painted. I... <laughs> I feel like that's a consensual, like, flashing. I, uh... I walked through the Tenderloin, uh, which is a part of San Francisco, at night once, which was a terrible, terrible mistake. It was just bad timing, and I didn't think about this, but, like, the BART station was, like, across the Tenderloin, and the Tenderloin is, like, not a good part of San Francisco. And it was very dark, and I that saw a lot of people... Meat? Yeah, yeah. Um, it is named like, after what? me. Well, because I, th I think it's the shape of it or something. If you look at it on a map or something, I don't know. But I saw a lot of very open intravenous drug use. I saw, like, and I had to walk like, like almost like, I saw like at least a, like a mile. It was pretty fucking long. And yeah, we definitely got flashed. <laughs> we got flashed. I just, we just, I was like, ignore it, just ignore it. And then uh, like. No, it was it was pretty bad. The area is kind of like kind of gone downhill, I think. I saw like uh, people peeing on the sidewalk. I saw Wait, like there's whole parts of San Francisco that just smell horrible. There was like a uh, trash can fires, people just doing drugs like very very openly. Um, we got like hollered at a lot, and then I got flashed, all in the course of like 25 minutes. So all in all, good night. <laughs> <laughs> it was interesting. Like, I was I was a uh, I was walking across the tenderloin with um, two friends. One of them was a guy, and one of them was a girl. And the girl was handling it really well because I think just as like a woman, when you just get used to this kind of shit, which is really kind of fucked up. But it was like I was like, all right, we're gonna zip our jackets all the way up, and we're not gonna talk to anyone. We're just gonna walk because that's just what you get used to doing. And the guy was having a meltdown because he had never experienced this before, and he like was freaking out, like he didn't know what to do. And I was like, I was like, just stop, like don't talk to them, like don't talk to them, because he kept getting riled up every time anyone would say anything, anything like lewd to us. And I was like, stop, like you're making it worse. Just stop talking. <laughs> Kept getting all like he's gonna fight or something. I'm like, don't do that. Yeah, I think you've Just told walk. that part of the story before. Yeah. About like the different reactions. He was like, oh, he's getting all scared and stuff. And I was like, dude, I don't know. Why is that door of eyeballs? Keep chill. <laughs> that one door looks back at us. Uh, the, the, I feel like I, we, we, there's just one of those every once in a while. I don't yeah. know why. He could never wear a VR headset. His eyes are way too far apart. I did think it was funny 
how you're like when I tried your VR headset, you have to like adjust the eye distance because I think it would really yeah. point out to you if you had a problem with your eye distance you didn't realize before and make someone really self conscious if they had to like do it all the way as far as it would go. Oh, yeah, like there's a there's posts online of people like putting foam between the two lenses to push them further apart so that they can reach how far apart their eyes are. Oh no. Someone was just having a big head. Like I'm 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 at like the maximum setting. You know, a lot of people I know have big heads, and I don't notice it until they mention it. But like my young, <laughs> my younger brother has a large head, and I just know that because his hat sizes never work, and so I was like, he can't fit so certain we can't hats. Actually go in. At least we got experience finally. We have, that's more experience than we got in like the last like four hours of this game. Doctor Cla derive Claudio's van. You may now drive across roads if Claudio's in the party. <gasps> Oh, it's cute. Look how cute he is. Where's Claudia though? I don't. I want to do the long way. Um, is the implication they're all in the van? Why are you driving it now? Uh, what happened to the teleport system, Claudio? Where'd you go? Uh, I can't go. I can't go that way. I can drive across these roads. Oh, um, so maybe I can now. I can suddenly access that, or maybe I could before. I don't remember. Oh, that's. Oh yeah, well, because you couldn't cross roads before. Yeah, yeah no, but yeah, I, don't, I don't remember if we could go through that forest before or not. Uh, random encounters, sheep man. This music's kind of cool. <laughs> no, Jesus Christ, they're not even your songs. You're taking credit for other people's music. Yeah, you can't say that. Check out my sick beats, and it's like you don't. Check out the sick beats. You're a that, philosophy major. That I enjoy. <laughs> Check out my good taste in music. Wow, that did nothing. I do like the noise that it makes. The little, the little clicks. camera noise. Mm -hmm. This is for you. This is for you. Uh, that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Fuck. It depends on what you're giving. It's bad now. <laughs> It could be, this is for you. Or it could be like, this is for you. Take this. Take that. Or take this. <laughs> it's no use. It's no use. I thought like, the connotation how you say things really affects their interpretation. Why does this guy have so much health? I just want to go back to the game. <gasps> I've met people in my life that had no Fuck. Uh, ability to, co to control their tone and had to explain to them, like, you say things in an aggressive way <laughs> and they say, what? And I'm like, I feel like you probably have a hard time you talking speak to people in an aggressive manner. because you probably get reactions you don't know that you are getting because you speak in a way that is aggressive and you don't realize it. They're, they're, yeah. I've like had conversations also, with people like, like, like that people before. people that just scream everything they say. Ooh, people who are really loud. They always, they speak everything in the same very loud exact tone and Never. There's no deviation in like pitch or volume ever. They're just always yelling. I get really stressed when people talk too loud to me. Yeah. Um, it's actually like a big pet peeve of mine. And I had like I'm like, hey, I had a I had an uncle who uh, got us kicked out of two restaurants in the same day because he talked too loud and at a nice restaurant. It was, it was his birthday, so he talked too loud at a nice restaurant, got us kicked out, which 21. made twenty one kind of sense. Kill him. But then we got kicked out of a Chevy's. I'm like, do you, do you know how fucking loud you have to talk to get kicked out of a Chevy's? Like, that's impressive. <laughs> Chevy's is a loud-ass restaurant. <laughs> Look at the little truck. It's pretty cute. It's pretty good. I really like Jeeps, but I hate myself for liking them because the they're expensive oh. and the Holy gas crap. is so expensive. Isn't that it? I can't believe it. We actually found it! Are you sure, guys? It's got the, the dishes on it. That's true. The first step is to calm down. Yeah, slow Let's your roll. Let's get around the van, and then one of us will knock. Then we'll <laughs> Surround then the we'll, van. And we'll push it over. Let's be ready to fight, since we don't know what's inside. I don't want to sound like a wuss, but why are we doing this again? Michael, you sound like a wuss. Because robot waifu, Michael. Yeah. Because we have to save the android! She's my wife. No one will let me kiss them. <laughs> Maybe the android will. 
She's only half. Ah, what ah, the fuck? Ah, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What, what was the fuck? that? This mysterious van. Why is there a rat version of the of the mean girl? It's the, it's the angry goth girl, but she's got a rat tail. Wait, remember that that post talked about a rat? What the fuck? Doesn't anyone else find this a little odd? Yes. I'm a little bit upset by that. So the soul survivors are working with the mall rats. Mall rats. <sighs> Don't be stupid. Something isn't right here. Yeah, the kid has a tail. Okay, so those kids have the keys to the van. The only course of action is to track them down and ask them nicely for them. Just talk to them right now. They're right here. What the fuck? And when they say no, we kick their 12 year old goth butts. How, you guys are too old. That can be an okay, offense like in the eyes of the law. Yeah, you're going to get arrested. I always thought about that <laughs> when I turned 18. I was like, I can't beat up kids anymore. <laughs> yeah, you can't like assault tweens. Damn it. As a grown ass man. I missed man. my opportunity. <laughs> Yo, wouldn't, wouldn't it be hilarious if, like, if I could, like, out of this ragtag band of misfit friends, the black guy could pick the lock. And, and don't pretend you didn't think it. So to answer I, your racist ass question, I really didn't think about I that. I cannot pick a lock. Well, at least not a car lock. I went through a Sherlock home phase and learned to pick basic locks. <laughs> I, say, I, I know people who can pick locks and they're all sketchy ass white people. Yeah. <laughs> they're all like, like, uh, ex drug dealers. <laughs> Sherlock home phase. You know, antique locks, Egyptian wooden pin locks, awarded lock, RFID locks if I had the right equipment, but definitely not a car lock. I mean, it's the 90s. You just need like a hook. <laughs> or like, yeah, those you things need, like, that the- You like a coat uh, hanger and you can undo the, uh, like a, a van? That's like the worst option. Like it's the easiest thing. Yeah, I've seen the people get my keys out of the car when I lock them in it and they just go up there with like a metal rod and they just like pop my door. Yeah. No, like, when I had, a fire, scares when me, I had my Firebird, the AAA guy broke into my car by just pushing on the window. He just pushed it inward and then reached in. <laughs> Wow. Like the, like the windows flex. And I was like, ah. So just to clarify, you can't pick the lock. Psh, no. Well, probably not. We're wasting time. Let's go after the brats. Oh, no, the music's back. I don't like watching that thing run. <laughs> it's really fucking funny. It's really fucking funny. You know, they also, the ball rat also moves around as a party like we do. Yeah, they all, yeah, they'll they converge into one body. Of course, they choose the rat body because it's the fastest. Yeah, it's the travel form. Most efficient. King of Red Lions, take carry me. 